Hello there folks, uh, this is a simple recording. Um, someone asked uh, for this uh, EM320 microphone to be tested to see what the audio performance was like and how directional the microphone is. So here's a quick test. The microphone is um, 8, 9 inches in front of my mouth and you can see where I'm holding it. It's directly in front pointing at me at a distance of 8 to 9 inches. Um, the audio on the the T3i, the Canon 600, is uh, it looks like it's peaking around about uh, minus 3 dB at this point. So I'm going to turn the microphone 90 degrees around the tip, so I'm keeping the tip the same distance. So that's at 90 degrees now. Um, can't quite read the dB on that one, but I think it's down about minus 12, maybe a bit more. I mean, it's quite uh, it's quite a dramatic drop on that. I'm going to bring it straight back to the centre as I talk. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that's it back to the centre again. Quite a noticeable difference on the level meters as far as I'm seeing here. So I'm just going to wobble the microphone around that setting. So there's it 90 degrees and that's it back down towards the centre again. And that's it back at 90 degrees the other way. Um, so that's it at 90 degrees. I'm just going to rotate it on the cylinder so you can see that it's generally the same sort of at all... Um, at, the, at that distance of about 8 or 9 inches, you can see the, that it's a fairly universal. You'll obviously hear me handling the microphone, but you're just going to have to accept that for the moment. So that's the microphone at, again, 8 9 inches pointing straight at my mouth again. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees now. Um, so that's it pointing at me. And approximately the same distance, that's it pointing away from me. Um, so that's it directly with the back towards me. Um, I've had to move the tip of the microphone another four or five inches because it's the microphone's too long. But uh, if I start at that distance and rotate it around the tip, so let me just grab it there. Okay, so that's the microphone uh, pointing 180 degrees away from me. And if I turn it 180 degrees towards me, uh, that is now about 12 inches away from me. And um, from there, I'll turn it directly from towards me, towards me, towards me. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Away from me, away from me, away from me. Um, let me just check the microphone. So the microphone, the microphone is currently in the tele mode. And the, as I say, I'm recording straight into the uh, Canon 600. And I have the... Uh, low cut filter switched off in this microphone. So let's just go for another idea. Now this just going to make this as we go. I'm going to put the microphone on top of the camera. Um, I've no mounts, I've no brackets, so I'm just going to put that on top of the camera. Okay, so the microphone is now, um, I don't have a measuring tape handy, but it's an arm's length plus another seven or eight inches away from me. And uh, that's it pointing straight at me. Now, in the background, I've got two computers running. Um, I've got a video playing there, but I've got the audio switched off. In fact, I'll just bring the audio on. So, Fortunately, I don't think we have so available. that audio is relatively uh, loud in the room, and um, time, you'll hear me talking there. Actually, that's an interesting test. Let me try that as well. So, untangle my cables. Okay, so that's um, the microphone pointed at the speaker no in the how background. How special you felt when it's obvious that someone took effort to make So it's about a foot and a half um, away from the speaker. Really if I turn the microphone 180 degrees and point it to me rather than to the speaker, you'll see that the audio from this background goes down. Again, I'll rotate the microphone around the tip. And I am now behind the microphone. And they are now at the front. And that's 90 degrees. So that's us uh, both at 90 degrees to the microphone. So I'm going to return it back to this setting. So there's a simple test on how the audio performs. Um, hopefully that gives you enough information on how this EM320E microphone performs. This costs uh, £12 or something like that on eBay. Um, it's a fairly cheap and nasty microphone. It's a fairly decent microphone at that as well. Depends on how much money you want to spend. And this is great as a second or third microphone, without a doubt. Anyway, bye-bye. Where's that stop button gone? Where has it gone? There it's there. Bye-bye.